Hi guys, thank you for joining us today for another one of our vlogs. We are really excited. We have Maria Harpers here from Natural Health Medicine. Um, <laughs> well done. <laughs> she is our go-to Love Well nutritionist. Thanks, has been mate. just an amazing source of knowledge for us. Um, so we've actually decided to start a series where you guys can ask questions and Maria will answer them. So we have four months worth of questions and we are so excited and do you want to just talk about how you guys got to know each other and, and how you got involved with Love Well? Yeah, cool. that's right. Well, um, myself, my husband James and our kitties have seen Maria for many, many years and she's helped us with lots of different um, <laughs> issues, you know, we're the same as any family, you know, as healthy as we, we try to be, things come up and... Um, so Maria's been our go-to, and so we're so excited to have her oh, thank you. Um, working with us at Love Well um, because she's just yeah helped us formulate the product, just help you know be a support for you guys as well. So thank you so much. Pleasure. <laughs> and you're also offering fifteen minutes free mm -hmm. consultation yes. for anyone who needs her help. Guys, I'm telling you, you See need be the right fit. Yes, yeah. but you need to speak to her mm -hmm. because she is brilliant and she's been so helpful to us. How do people get in contact with you? Sure. So they can through email or our clinic phone number or Instagram or. And uh, what's or, your email? Email's Maria at naturalhealthmedicine.com.au. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for your questions. Um, we're so sorry if we don't get around to yours, but hopefully some of the questions we do ask resonate with you. Um, one of the ones that we do get contacted regularly about is the benefits of the Love Well products. So, Good one to start with. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great yeah. one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I, you know, having a look at the products, um, I think the first thing that really stands out and it's good to understand is that it's a whole food product. Um, so, um, you know, herbs and nutrients are sourced from foods, basically, but foods that are sort of harder for us to get, you know, things like wheatgrass and barley grass and spirulina that have got B vitamins and things. And so um, that's really different to isolated nutrient um, um, products where you're just getting zinc on its own or vitamin D on its own. It's much safer because nature knows how to put the mm. nutrients into mm -hmm. the foods correctly and balanced. And so a that's lot of really the vitamins good. you get out there are synthetic. Is that right? Yeah, they're not that's right. They're not. That's right. They're not always coming from foods because we're trying. We need to get them in high, high doses to have a therapeutic change that we need. But we're checking and measuring um, to see and adjusting to see that what we're doing is okay and working. But when, you're, um, when you don't know your individual biochemical makeup, you should be using whole food products. Mm -hmm. So that's really the go-to. And especially, that's what we try to get people to once we've mm. resolved things as well. So mm -hmm. that's always been a really big thing. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So I think that's nice for, yeah. for everyone to sort of know that, that, that it is a whole food product. Definitely. And not, Amazing. Yeah. And no substitute yeah. for food. Yeah, but it's not no, a meal no, replacement. No, no. <laughs> no. that's right. Boost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and exactly. they are harder things to get. Like if we look at the mushrooms, they're not mushrooms; mm. they're they're special. Mm, um, special. And the tremella therapeutic isn't, mushrooms. Isn't tremella yeah. a vegan source of collagen? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. Like it Chrissy in wanted there. that in there. Yeah, and she's like, "We need to have some form of collagen." And I was like, "Oh, but it all comes from animals." And then we managed to figure out one that comes just purely from the plants. Yes, yes. that's amazing. Yeah. Mushrooms, yeah. not my favourite thing to eat, yeah. I have to say. I can't taste it in Love Well, though. No, yeah. no, because there's a bunch so of different. Yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. They're it's really great. that um, uh, therapeutic herbs, and they're not mushrooms you'd normally eat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. either. So oh, it's good. Amazing. And um, I think the other thing is, is if we have a look at the ingredients in um, the Love Well products, we can see that... Um, uh, pathways are supported, so detoxification pathways are upregulated with all the greens that are in there. Spirulina, the chlorella, um, chlorella actually helps um, chelate, which is remove um, heavy metals as well. Mm -hmm. So it's um, supportive in that way, which is right. really good. Um, 
Other things that it does is it supports the immune system with the mushrooms, but also the prebiotics as well that are in there. So it's uh, got immune boosting properties. Fantastic. Um, Good for gut health, right? Yeah, yeah, gut health as well, which uh, the gut drives the immune system right. too, so it's really good. Um, the other things in there are the adaptogenic herbs like the maca root and um, the mushrooms as well are also good for the adrenal glands. So boost of energy. That's, that's good. I <laughs> need that. As so a that's, tired mama. Yeah. <laughs> so that's really good. And, um, and, and the gut health that we talked mm. about. So it's got all of those things that it's um, supporting. And, and it tastes fantastic. like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes really good. Yeah. I did mine with, um, this morning with my sister-in-law. We did uh, coconut milk an almond milk half half yeah and a banana it was beautiful that, I, I do yeah. that too yeah. yeah I have that yeah. nutty brand yeah, Dr. Like yeah. yeah and it's a split like coconut almond that's exactly yeah. how I make it and it's so delicious so that was beautiful it's a really yeah. very nice um, that's good and one important thing for me formulating it as well is that um, you know we a lot of us know the importance of your B, B vitamin complex as mm-hmm. well and and I've got I wanted to pop that in there and we found this great source from sprouted quinoa yeah. um, which I got from a supplier in Germany so I feel like that's really innovative in what we're doing and mm. making sure it's not coming from synthetic so um, for those who don't know much about yeah. you know your B vitamins what would you say is well um, energy mm. you need B vitamins for if you're under more stress than normal you need mm. more B vitamins as mm. well um, if you drink alcohol, <laughs> you need B vitamin. You need more yeah. than normal as well. <laughs> I've heard it helps yeah. lift your mood. Is that yes, yeah? absolutely. Yeah. We haven't talked about that yet. Definitely, yeah. it's good for mood. I mean, B twelve and folate um, alone, um, yeah, it can affect mm. um, mood. So there, it's really important. Yeah, to amazing. Those in there. Great. Um, another question that we got actually, I found quite interesting. It was about mental health and fluctuating hormones because I think those two can go hand in hand and um, people just wanted to know about supporting those Those, particular things yeah so um, there's a few things first from the products we've got the maca root that's in there so Mm -hmm. um, that's really good because that's specifically for hormone balancing so that's great great. and fertility as well oh Um, amazing so yeah it's often given um, preconceptionally Um, so that can balance hormones but I think dietary things and lifestyle things as well that can be done um, making sure that you drink enough water Uh, so usually we sort of recommend around 30 mils per kilo that you weigh so Mm -hmm. if you're 65 kilos that'll be about two litres if I've got that Mm -hmm. right okay great Um, so um, sleep is important Mm -hmm. Making sure with your food that you're not going too high on the sugars and the processed foods. and Like the Cheerios that my husband picked up <laughs> in the supermarket <laughs> for my yeah, children. Vegan. <laughs> yeah. Vegan. <laughs> Mummy was away in Sydney and I came back and found Cheerios yeah. in the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, uh, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, the sugars definitely and the processed um, foods and good essential fats. So... Mm-hmm. Um, we want things avocado. like avocado, mm-hmm. yeah, a coconut oil, um, chia seeds are mm-hmm. really good, and I'm having flax seeds. There are essential fatties in here yeah, too. They're so are. delicious. Oh, they're, they're essential yeah. because our body doesn't naturally produce, produce them. Is that them, right? Yeah. Right. So you have to get them in your foods. Right. Yeah. Interesting. So, um, and they're so important for hormones. Mm-hmm. Um, the other thing also that I think people don't sort of realise is the liver um, detoxifies um, the hormones and Mm -hmm. clears hormones. So if liver's not working well, Mm -hmm. then you can have issues with your hormones. So Mm -hmm. um, you need the greens and certain things to help um, the liver. And is that particularly helpful for teenagers as well? Yes. (laughs) Yes. Yes. We have someone writing about that. Teenagers and the ups and the downs. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) The same sorts of things. Yeah. So they need um, those things. And and then other foods as well, you know, making sure protein sources are good and um, uh, even seeds, pumpkin seeds Mm -hmm. and um, sunflower seeds and that have got your essential fats in them. Um, fatty fish, eggs also, mm-hmm. so they're um, good sources. 
um, sleep, yeah. everything again, because yeah. that pushes and affects cortisol, which is our stress hormone. Mm. So and that needs to be looked at. Would you say it's like a mind, body, soul thing, mm-hmm. right? Because um, I have people in my family who suffer from mental health issues, right. and a lot of the time when they're putting healthy things into their body, they're getting enough sleep, and they're choosing something that they love, something that sparks joy in their life, like. Yeah you know, meditation or yoga or just some kind of movement, they're always feeling like they're in a more balanced headspace. Yeah. So do you recommend movement as well? For sure. And I think if people are really fatigued as well with the Mm -hmm. hormones, then gentle movement. Like swimming. Yeah, Yeah, swimming and yoga. Walking. um, Walking, yeah. Yeah. And then if they're... um, um, if they've got good energy, then they can do mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. more. Um, but that's definitely important. And you're right. I think it um, like the sleep. If the sleep's not right, then that doesn't put you in the right headspace to eat well. And yeah. then you do reach for the sugars and the processed yes. food. You cut those the corners. Yeah. And then it's that downward um, spiral. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Catch up, yeah. catch up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. My husband literally gets addicted to sugar. Yeah. So he will have one, as you know. And then, and then have remember the chocolate at your house that time? I, know, I had <laughs> this chocolate. chocolate bar that I just had one that I was just savouring for like a month, one yeah. square a day. And I'm like, oh, you have to try this. Yeah. And he just gobbled it all up. The whole rest of the chocolate bar that she would have had for at least another few weeks. And he's like, oh. <laughs> Well, that's okay. We bought some loving earth ones. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And that was the brand. I was <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it's sugar, got no nasties in it, at least. Sugar yeah. is the like bad for everything. And a question, another yeah. question we got was how to improve like hair, skin, and nails. No, I'm sure also not having sugar. Not having sugar. <laughs> yeah. I know yeah. is like number one because James, yeah. my husband, he's big on that, and he's the big first thing to cut out is sugar. Yeah. Normal. So yeah. Yeah, I think because sugar definitely has lots of um, connection with chronic disease. So that's, yeah. that's the big thing. But I wonder when it comes to skin, um, especially like acne, um, what's going on, whether it's what the sugar is in as well. So there's right. two main foods that um, some people uh, have a real problem with with their skin, and one's dairy and one's gluten. Mm. And so it's not that everyone has to go and take that out, but you could mm. experiment with it if you have yeah. acne problems. I took um, dairy out recently yeah. because my baby was getting terrible breakouts on her skin. Yeah, okay. And then I ended up cutting out dairy, and mm. her skin is beautiful yeah. and clear yeah. straight, yeah. straight away. Yeah, it can be really yeah. hard. It, on day two, yeah. I noticed a difference. Mm. I was like, well, oh, that's it. There goes my Cadbury. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, now I know it's good because Cadbury also has sugar. So <laughs> it's a good thing to cut out. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? You, 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 you can experiment, take it out for a few weeks, mm-hmm. see if, that's, if that solves the problem. If not, you could try the gluten because I have clients where it's one or the other or sometimes both. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's not always the problem, but, it, you know, it's definitely worth trying. So and, like an elimination yeah. diet sort of where you take just, out. Yeah, maybe just if you find it hard to do it, you can just take one thing first and right. see if, you know. It makes a difference. Yes, if it makes a difference. Otherwise you don't know what helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The other um, way is you take lots of things out and then you bring one back in at a time. So it just mm-hmm. depends on. It is a frequently asked feel. question why, mm. again, we wanted the tremella, the, the collagen in there yeah. to really help. Yeah. The nails. Yeah, and from the inside. Yeah. And collagen yeah. is just, yeah, yeah. fantastic mm. isn't it? And, yeah, it's good for the skin. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you need zinc and you need, um, and again, zinc's in pumpkin seeds and it's in oysters and um, it's, uh, you also need things like, um, some of your B vitamins and magnesiums mm-hmm. and things like that as well. So, oh, so yeah. lots of those things are in the blossom. Yeah, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and the antioxidants. Yes, that are there. there too, yeah. And actually, the prebiotics as well, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. they that really can affect um, skin health. Mm-hmm. What's going on in the gut? Mm-hmm. So, yes. um, that's oh, that makes me yeah. happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. Well, thank yes. you yeah. so yeah. much. Yeah. Um, we'll be back with you another day yeah. to do oh, the I'm next series of questions thank you. and thank thanks you. everyone for sending those questions in they've been wonderful thank so you. we right. will see you next week mm-hmm. <laughs>